Okay, the open bikes are away first. And they hit into turn number one. Here we go, let's see if Roloff can go home as the man of the meeting and pick up 600 bucks here in this race. And they get the green flag and away they go. Boy, a lot of bounce of those front tires up and down. Roloff, it looks like he gets swallowed by traffic all the time, but then he swoops down into turn number one in good shape, and then he takes bay aim on those top two guys as they head around to number two. Roloff right now has uh, 1600 bucks to his credit on today's racing, and he can go home $2,100 richer if he can uh, finish first in this race. That is, as Larry mentioned up here, that is a nice day's work. I think that's what uh, you and I should be getting for working up in the booth, don't you think, Larry? We'll talk to Earl after the race.
like James Dubay still holding off Greg Blake and Roll Roloff. Amazingly enough, Roll Off in third. Then comes your new rider, 667 Tom Lynch, the novice, holding down fourth. Quite a change here in that 750 class. Surprisingly enough, Earl Roloff not uh, up there at all amongst the leaders. He's back there in third, and he's not even threatening James Dumay at all. Dumay may come through and pick up $600 for the win here. Unfortunately, Dumay is on a Suzuki, so he won't pick up anything. What he's going to do is probably pick up $100 from Racer Supply. we got a rider down on the outside of turn number 2B. A rider down in number 2B. A lot of dirt and dust kicking up. And yeah, I can tell you what that was from easily. They're getting blind down there. The sun going down awfully fast. With the sun going down over there, the riders just lose vision. And this is what happens when we run this late in the day. These are too many races to run in one day. And it can't be done this early in the year. Thank you. 